Hello students, today we will learn a new topic on teaching machines. Now let's start with introduction. With the increasing of population, the needs for education also increases. The demand cannot be met simply by building more schools and training more teachers. Education must become more efficient. In any other field, a demand for increased production would have led at once to the invention of labor-saving capital equipments. Thus, the introduction of teaching machine is another kind of capital equipment which will encourage the student to take an active role in the instructional process. Now, moving to teaching machine. In a conventional learning process, both teachers and the students are actively involved, but in the recent innovation of the educational system, the teacher need not be physically present to teach. Teaching machines and a programmed instruction represents this new development in education. The pioneering work in the field of teaching machines was done by Sidney L. Pressey of the Ohio State University. The writing and the research of B. F. Skinner was chiefly responsible for this remarkable development. A teaching machine is a piece of device designed to be operated by an individual student. It presents series of problems and provides immediate rewards or reinforcement to students when they give the correct answer to the posed questions. It can interact with the students to a remarkable degree. The essential characteristics of the various teaching machines are as follows. In the first point we have the student is presented with a question or problem by some form of display on the machines. 2. The student is required to respond overtly. The student must do something about the problem, either to write an answer or to push a button to indicate the correct answer. 3. The student is informed as to whether his answer is right or wrong. This is being done either by showing the correct answer or by moving forward to the next frame when a question has been answered correctly. 4. An account is kept of the responses made by the student not for the purpose of testing the acquisition of knowledge but for teaching purpose. So, in a teaching machine, programming is done by presenting the subject matter in a small discrete interlocking steps, each depending upon the preceding steps. Only after the student has committed himself by writing out the response to the problem, he operates a lever or button which exposes the correct answer at the same time. His answer moves under a piece of glass. The student can only check up whether his response is right or wrong, but there is no scope for making correction. Most teaching machines present linear programs through a few functions as branching type. In some of the complex electronic machines, branching of a complex sort is possible. Teaching machines allows each student to proceed at his own pace and continually interact with the students. There are machines which allow the student to question, to ask for further information, to demand review and to demand explanation. They are completely individualized in every respect. Teaching machine can be broadly categorized under two categories. The first category is construct response devices. Under this we have A. The slider machine B. The disk type machine C. The typewriter into computing machine D. Audio-visual combination 
The second category is we have multiple choice machines and under this we have A. Tracy's machines B. Electronic computers and multiple choice programs C. Audiovisual machines D. Non-mechanical multiple choice programs Now moving to another subtopic that is values of teaching machines Point number one, program instruction and teaching machines provide a technological solution to the problems of individual differences. Number two, teaching machines, if programmed and wisely used, can provide individual experience for students. In the present setup, no teacher can be a tutor to each individual, but auto instruction can be tutorial instruction. 3. Teaching machines are helpful from the students' points of view also. Every student can proceed at his own rate of learning. 4. With the teaching machines programs, either remediation or enrichment is automatically built depending upon the philosophy and intention of the programmer. 5. Large numbers of students can be taught with the machines. Sixth, students were active while using teaching machines during their learning process. It is such kinds of private tutor which alerts students and keep them busy during learning process. Seven, teaching machines provides opportunities for teachers to analyze the responses of the students. By this, they see what students understand item by item. 8. A program is not a human being and hence can be used at any time of the day. Programmed materials or teaching machines are never tired and never lose their temper or patience. Hence, program materials are very useful in the field of non-formal education. Now, moving to another subtopic, machine versus teacher. As a result of advancement in the field of educational technology, teaching machines were introduced to make teaching learning more effective. Teaching machines are primarily due to the work of educational and research psychologists. The machine may appear crude as they are today. But painstaking research is still going on and it will definitely improve the technique so that teaching will become the most human of all professions. The greatest value of such mechanical devices and the programmed material used in this is that they make individualization of instruction possible. Programs catering to the individual differences among pupils should take into account not only speed of learning but also other physical and the psychological variables found in classes. Individualizing instruction is not just paying personal attention to each pupil. It consists of designing specifically tailored learning experiences for each pupil on the basis of his or her needs and interests as well as strengths and weaknesses. So in such a task, the planned use of tools and techniques of educational technology is indispensable. But one question which came out is whether machines will replace human teachers in near future. Education is a complex process. It is about the trust and the bond between teacher and young person that creates the environment where learning can occur and grow. Virtual learning simply cannot do that. A world nowhere young people are retreating more and more into virtual unreality. The teaching profession is more important than it ever was. It is teaching that keeps it real. Teaching that keeps young people alive. In short, teachers and the profession will never die. Now coming to another subtopic, 
computer assisted instruction computer assisted instruction is the most exciting innovation in the field of education a computer is programmed with linear or branching programs and act like a super teaching machines catering to the needs of a number of students at the same time the characteristics aspects of the computer assisted instruction is its capacity to initiate flexible interaction with the students which is not possible in the teaching machine the computer is able to record and store all the responses of all the students it can use the information in deciding what information to give the student next it can branch not just in terms of one answer but also in terms of a whole series of previous answer it can also record the time taken to answer a questions and the student's response a typical computer assisted instruction installation consists of individual learning boot each with a console the student is seated facing him on the console is a television screen for displaying information before he start a program the student check in with the computer by displaying his identity number this connects him with his part of learning program a complete package of information stored in the system is presented sequentially this information could take the form of video tape recordings slides motion pictures films film strips etc the student may question the computer and feed answer into it by means of a typewriter keyboard the computer responds by printing out comments answer and questions sometimes the student may write directly on the cathode ray tube display screen with a light pen his answer will be picked up by the computer and evaluated when he has finished the computer assign him the next program records his progress and print out a report for his teacher computer assisted instruction is therefore not merely a sophisticated type of program instruction but a different kind of instruction altogether no doubt it uses program instruction but it also uses electronic media theory concept of audio visual and media theory communication theory system theory and learning theory now coming to the conclusions of our day's topic teaching machines and the computer assisted instruction is not to exclude the teacher from the classroom but to effectively supplement in the teaching learning process they are the results of innovation in the field of educational technology machines means relief from the more mechanical aspects of the teacher's work teachers need no longer be talking books or paper correcting automations they can here of the work in the areas like evaluation planning curriculum revision guidance and human relations in spite of certain difficulties and imitation it provides opportunities to modify and improve the education system as best as possible thus educational technology has full potentiality to provide effective control to the process and the product of education by solving the various problems